everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name's Vic from At Forever Scrapping and the reason that I'm sharing this scrapping process video with you is because I've made it for the Scrap Tube UK Hop. It's my first time taking part in a, in a YouTube Hop so I'm really excited and it was great that Natalie invited me um, along to play with everyone. So along with lots of other fabulous scrapbookers and documenters from the UK we've all got together in a little collaboration and we hope you all enjoy our hop. You'll find all of the links of the other people taking part in our hop in the description below so please do hop over and check them out too. So we really didn't have a theme for this YouTube hop, it was just simply about scrapping memory keeping so something that you love to document about and in any format so 12 by 12 layout project live travel notebook so there should be a good variety for you to go and have a look at and the thing that i like to scrap about the most is my children my girls so this 12 by 12 layout features my youngest caris on a recent trip that we had to view when staying with my parents this summer. She bought herself some mustard coloured trousers that she's wearing in the photograph and I thought she looked just absolutely fabulous in them. And so did she. So <laughs> she was more than willing to um, jump around and, and grab any photo opportunity that she could. So I really enjoyed creating this layout and used one of my favourite brands of scrapbook and paper, um, the crepe paper Maggie Holmes. Uh, the collection that I've used here is Willow Lay and I just loved all the different colours and patterns in it and went with um, embellishments and papers of yellowy tones, mustardy tones to match in with my daughter's trousers in the photograph. So I wanted to do a grid layout for this photo. Always find if you're a little bit stuck for ideas, a grid work layout always works really, really well. And I love the fact that you can layer up all the papers and I just think they look lovely when they're done. So just having a play around there. Decided what papers I wanted to use for my, I don't, they're not squares, they're, they're more rectangles that I've decided to choose there and um, just marking up there with a pencil to make sure that I get them all of a similar size and then lay them up one behind the other picking my embellishments tucking little bits of frames behind there it's always really good for adding a little bit of extra dimension so just having fun with it really I so enjoyed using it, it, were, it was great so I will leave you to watch the rest of my layout. As you'll see, once I've done this, I, I probably did it a little bit back to front, but I decided what I wanted to layer up for my grid and then decided that the background needed a little bit more dimension and color to it. So once I decided where everything was, I then removed it all off and I think I marked where everything was on the page and did a little bit of mixed media just to add some more interest. So I hope you enjoy it, if you do please give a thumbs up um, and comment, that would be great. If you'd like to subscribe to my YouTube channel, that would be fantastic as well. And please don't forget to check out all the other people who are partaking in the hops links which you'll find below in the description. Um, there'll be links that go through to their channel and hopefully once their layouts or travel notebooks and project life process videos are up and running I'll change those so that it takes you directly to their YouTube pop video. Thanks for watching and enjoy. Bye!